A day of cleaning up at this gas drilling site in the northern tier. Now people who live near here can only wonder about possible long-term effects of today's leak. All day long, dozens of people have been working to fix that leak at the well pad in Leroy Township. And those people who live in the area have been keeping a close watch on the work, wondering what the impact will be. Well. Chesapeake Energy officials say thousands and thousands of gallons of drilling fluid have leaked in this quiet community near Canton from the company's well pad. This is just outrageous, isn't it? I mean, here you have a situation where virtually every week there's another story coming out of Pennsylvania of somebody's water being contaminated, methane bubbles uh, coming up in the Susquehanna River. But last year, a company called Aruba Petroleum came and drilled two wells outside their windows, leaving behind this permanent eyesore. You see over here on this tank, can you see where it's, where it's just been still leaking? Why is it doing that? That leaking is just the half of it. They videotaped oozings and gushings. When the state environmental agency shot these hissing toxic air emissions with infrared cameras, the company was hit with a fine. I keep hearing that this process, the horizontal drilling and the fracking, is safe. Well, define safe. Safe for who? Safe in the process or safe for the people that it 200 feet away from it. This week, Secretary John Hanger sent a letter to residents of Dimmick claiming the Cabot Oil and Gas has not taken responsibility for contaminating the drinking water. Part of it reads, Cabot is responsible for the gas migration that has caused families to be without a permanent water supply for nearly two years, and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania will seek court orders to make Cabot pay for all costs. AGL has been mining coal seam gas just south of Sydney for a decade. It's so sensitive, they are asked us to stop filming on their lease today, they said for our own safety. We think they should act to prevent this industry rolling out into the Sydney metropolitan area and turning our city into a toxic gas field. Trying to figure out what is causing the water to bubble in the river. Who checked out the scene today? Our top story on Newswatch 16 at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marisa Burke. Scott has the night off. People along the west branch of the Susquehanna River in Bradford County started noticing those bubbles a few days ago. Today, experts from the State Department of Environmental Protection checked out the water, and so did a natural gas drilling company doing work nearby. Newswatch 16's Ryan Coyle was in the Wyalusing area today. He's in our newsroom now with the story. Ryan. Marisa, well water problems have become a sticking point for those who argue over the safety of natural gas drilling. But today we talked to people in Bradford County who say they've never seen anything like this. Investigators from the Department of Environmental Protection were in Bradford County trying to find answers to this. Bubbles coming out of the ground along the banks of the west branch of the Susquehanna River near Wyalusing. First developing now a natural gas explosion in the northern part of Texas. We're hovering about three-quarters of a mile away from this fire, and the heat is incredible up here in the cockpit. 